Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cake Man Entertainment. And today I'm going to be reacting to Game of Thrones Season 3, Episode 7. I have reacted to the first two whole seasons and every episode this season so far. You can check that link out above. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed Game of Thrones. This season has been an absolute standout and the series has been going on an upwards trend. I sort of actually haven't watched for a bit, so I might have forgotten a few details, but um, that's because I've been watching The Legend of Vox Machina and I finished that show. Um, you can check that link out above. But from what I remember last time, um, Tyrion, no not Tyrion, Tywin uh, paired his children up with people they didn't want. So uh, we'll see where that goes in this episode. They just get killed. <laughs> it's great honor when you get cleaned up. Is that a great honor too? One second later. I mean, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of unsure why Jon Snow's not more pissed off at this guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Surprised he didn't try to hit him. Oh. I mean, that's actually pretty deep, and it's not wrong. That's actually a very good quote. It is just when it suits you, right? Hundred men watching them bleed and die. I'm not afraid of wet shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have some comedy about you, yeah? <laughs> Tell us that. <laughs> the mother still, I don't know if she approves of that relationship still. <laughs> exactly. You cannot just stay there like that, tell us so come on. You look too good. No, I have no grandchildren. Wait, what? Oh, that's what the surprises are. She's pregnant. This is the happiest moment of his life. <laughs> one of the happiest moments. Maybe one of each. <laughs> Don't get greedy. <laughs> no skill. A few dozen thrusts and done. You need to be patient. Give it time. <laughs> this guy's giving you advice on that. <laughs> Think he loves you, is that it? He's like trying to split them up, it looks like. Jon Snow and Ygritte. Live with you in some castle. He's like trying to make them betray each other. Oh, okay, he wants her. Tell Has old Tyrion mistreated you? No. He'd actually be a good husband, but he does not want to make love to her, I know that for sure. Even with the scar. Especially with the scar. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, you're being discriminative towards him? Very complicated, you know. Pleasing us takes practice. <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> Actually, where are their parents? She's a the grandmother's there, but where are the parents? Are they dead? How much older? Older. <laughs> How much older? <laughs> Two women to despise me. <laughs> yeah. I don't pay you to put evil notions. <laughs> We're gonna see uh, Tywin finally deal with this idiot. He hasn't actually talked to him like at all. It's... Even his walk is menacing. It's just so alpha. To walk from there to here would take time. Time I could otherwise spend productively. Another alpha line. <laughs> this guy, man. Climb all the stairs in the Tower of the Hand. <laughs> Geoffrey slowly pushed back there. <laughs> I think we can see who the true king is. Could arrange to have you carried. <laughs> By counseling the king on matters about which he knows nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're great. I love that. He was just like, like freaking 
talking down to him the whole time, and then at the end he's like, oh, oh yeah, your grace, yeah. And Joffrey is like, unsure what to do. She's like going around abolishing slavery by the looks of it. She's actually not too worried about Westeros for now. What? I wonder like, how did all these places out here in the middle of like the desert get so rich? Where do they get the money from? All the trades? Like what do they grow out here for food and all that? Someone must have gifted them something, right? Not just the Yunka or Yunka, whatever they call this, but Astapor as well. It's like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> She's trying to scare him. There's far more than this. Is that just gold? Oh, it's just gold. I don't think she cares that much about the money. My gold. You gave it to me, remember? Oh, <laughs> she's really taking everything. So she's gonna take the ships, the gold, and the slaves. She's winning in all departments. I mean, it's understandable. I, I get both sides. Tyrion can't really do anything. He can't say no to his father. And he can't leave here. That's like off the cards. If he leaves here, his father will probably just hunt him down and kill him, to be honest. So, There's power in the king's blood. so does this mean she wants him to be the next king? I mean, to be fair to her, she's been through a lot for a child at her age, so... The way she acts in these situations will be maybe a bit rabid. Kick all you like, wolf girl. Oh no. Do you no good. Oh no. I mean, that's nice of him to keep that deal if he does. I mean, he has changed a lot. Jamie, since he met Brienne. It's like brought out a side of him we haven't seen. I don't know if that was just me, but it seemed like he was a bit like he didn't want her to call him Sir Jamie. He wanted her to call him just Jamie. Or maybe he was happy that she called him Jamie and not um, Kingslayer, like everyone else does. It will take time. He's genuinely sad that he couldn't go with Brienne. I don't know, I have a feeling he'll come back and save Brian. He has to, right? He cares for her. <laughs> oh no. If he comes back. He definitely sent these two. <laughs> this guy's like a master torturer. He's so good, whoever that guy is. I'm sorry. Oh, here he is. <laughs> here he is, the master. I love this guy's acting. He's really good at this. Oh my god, he's gonna cut his Oh no. Oh no, he's not. He's not gonna cut his dick off, is he? Oh no, no, that is not. Please. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Rest in peace, Theon Greyjoy, and all your future kids. It's not gonna happen anymore. It's a windmill. <laughs> it's a windmill. <laughs> it's funny, she's so like unaware of her surroundings outside of where they were. You know, once she sees like a palace, like a proper palace or something, she'll be so amazed. Was a fancy lord. What fame? <laughs> she doesn't even know that. He doesn't know how to explain this. Spider, save me, John Snow. <laughs> My just... If you attack the wall, you'll die. All of you. He actually doesn't want that. Poor her people. I had to burn our hut down. What the hell happened to him? Oh, blue eyes. It's um, he was like a white walker. Right? That's what he was. He wasn't the person anymore. He was a white walker. You fondle one boy too many. No one else. <laughs> Not my own. Cantus. Cantus has a nice ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was for the greater good. That's what he's trying to say from his side of things. It's a nice. I don't think they care very much. 
I called it before. I'm pretty sure Jamie's gonna go back. He's, he has to go back and save her. He has like a true connection with Brienne. Okay, we return to Harren Hall. Okay, he's like running. Never seems so desperate to go save someone. Go buy yourself a golden hand and fuck yourself with a. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to deal with a man who has nothing you want. Oh! He's gonna have to jump down there and say. Ooh! Oh, good Jamie. But he doesn't have a weapon, though. Get behind. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> God, run, Jamie. Oh, that was a close one. How's he even climbing with one hand? Sorry about the satellites. Okay, so that was Game of Thrones Season 3, Episode 7. Um, before I get into my thoughts for the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get into that now. So, that episode we had, um, well, I, I'll start from what I just saw. So, we got a bit of more of Jamie and um, Lord Bolton decided to release him, as we saw last episode. We didn't want to give up Brienne. Um, Jamie eventually left, but then he couldn't help but think of Brienne again, because... He's formed like a proper connection with her. I, like it's not even a um, like sexual connection. Of course it's not. He's actually created something I'd say that's deeper. It's like his best friend in a way. Um, and he really, oh, best friend slash sister sort of relationship. That's what he treats her like. And he's, he just saved her from a bear. Um, that's a really big thing from Jamie. For a man who, from what we've seen in the show so far, he's quite selfish, quite self-centered usually excluding maybe his sister um and maybe his like other close family but uh, like outside his family he's never shown any remorse or forgiveness towards anyone but Brienne has changed him a lot and he is a he's quite a changed character since what we've seen of him in like season one for example I don't know how he'll actually go going back into King's Landing how he'll go in that sort of environment again because he's yeah he's completely different to what he was when he left so um i guess looking at the other stories we got a bit more john snow and Ygrid. we got their relationship is getting stronger um but john snow opened up and said that there is no way you're going to be able to take king's landing like i don't care how strong your people are king's landing is like unbreachable there's no way unless unless you're khaleesi with your dragons but uh yeah he told her and yeah she seems to be falling more in love with him their relationship is expanding further uh then we got <clears throat> obviously uh, probably one of my favorite parts of this episode was that interaction between tywin and uh joffrey you see just just the camera work there holding it behind tywin and tywin slowly walking up but in a really like alpha stance tywin walks up and then tywin says your grace or whatever and goes on this like speech about reports and stuff but then Joffrey starts to question him a little bit and Tywin's like, okay, enough of this shit. I'm walking up the steps right up to your throne and looking down on you. And that little acting from Joffrey, he's like, he, he like pushed his head back a little bit. It just shows who's on top in that conversation. Like who's, who's the alpha in that combo? And we know it's Tywin, right? And I loved that little part they put in the end when he's, he, he like tells off Joffrey for all this shit and he's like, basically saying like you don't know anything and you're useless pretty much i'm doing all the work i'm not going to waste my time coming up here when i don't have to stuff like that and then at the end he's like your grace and he says it in a way it's just such a smirky way to say it like oh yeah i'm still following protocol but you know i am i'm ahead of you you're no one you're a king but you're not really a king i'm the king here uh yeah i just love that whole interaction um, we got a bit more of Rob Stark and Talisa. Their relationship again is getting better. Their, their romance is pretty good, to be honest. They've they've done that really well with this Game of Thrones series, and they yeah, well, big news. They are pregnant. Oh, she is pregnant uh, with his child, and he is of course very happy. Uh, I, yeah, that little look that her mom gave when she looked back at them, like well, about to do it. She, She's still, I don't know if she's still a bit 
doubtful. Like she still doesn't like approve of Talisa completely. Um, I don't know if it's because of Talisa herself or the fact that he like struck out on a deal which he shouldn't have. He should have held to it. Um, yeah, but their relationship is is going well. I, yeah, it's it's good to see that. And uh, what other stories do we see? Oh, I guess we got a bit more of Bran. Um, he is getting more info from that other seer, trying to figure out where his brother is. It's still going to be a long way till he finds his brother because not only do they not know where he is, his brother's on the move constantly. So there's there might be like a season or two go by until he finds his his brother Jon Snow. Um, yeah. I mean, that story is all right. I, I prefer the other ones at the moment, um, but it's it's all good. And we got a little bit of updates here and there with Tyrion. Obviously, Tyrion has to marry Sansa. His, um, Shay is not happy about that. But what can he do? He can't disobey his father. The only thing he can do is run away, but he can't run away. He's like, he's one of the um, heirs of Casterly Rock. Like, he, he can't run. And to be fair, yeah, Sansa and his child would be a very powerful person. Um, yeah, it, it, we'll just have to see how that pans out in the next episode. But yeah, I really enjoyed this episode again. Well paced, we got through a lot of stories. And yeah, I just love the way in Game of Thrones how they juggle through like, what is it, like six, seven, six, seven stories with all different characters. But they're all like major characters. Like... There's no main character here. Oh, if there is, I don't really, I can't really distinguish between who's the main character because they're all getting a lot of screen time, and they all get, um, they're all developing as this, as the season goes along, and I'm sure it's going to reach a climax in um, episode ten of this season. I'm keen to see it. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this episode, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.